Thank you for coming along this evening. My name's Richard Abel. I'm the principal of Seton High School. It's great to see so many people here tonight and you have an opportunity to, to look at a lot of things around um, the opportunities and facilities of the school. Um, as well as my talk tonight, you'll also um, be booked in to talk to hear from Paul Lenardovich, who is the assistant principal of middle school, which is years seven, eight, and nine. So I'm gonna talk more around the big picture of the school, whereas Paul will focus more on what does it look like for a student when they first come to the school in year seven, uh, and, and, and move into the middle school. So, and between those two, we think we get, hopefully we'll get a good snapshot of what we're on about as a school. And everything that I'm going to be talking about, you'll have the opportunity to, to get lots more information um, from various uh, of displays in the school. So I'll refer to those briefly as I go along. So, as I said, tonight is really talk my, from my perspective, is talking about the big picture of Seton High School. What are we on about as a school? What's important to us? What do we believe in? And what are we trying to achieve with our students in terms of their learning? So I'm going to start with this um, statement, which I'm certainly not going to read out, and uh, you may or may not be able to read it, depending on where you're sitting. But it's a, it's a statement which talks around, around what we value, what we think is important, and tries to summarise it. And I'm going to summarise it even more by drawing out some of the key words, which I think summarise exactly what we, what we believe in. So we want our education to be relevant to life. We're, very, we're doing a lot of innovative approaches and we think that's really important, not just for the sake of being innovative, but because we find that it generates really good outcomes for our students. We want our learning to be authentic. These three terms here go together really well because they're about students. We want the learning to be centred around what the students believe is important, what they're interested in, what they have to do, sure, but also what they have strengths in and with the pathways that they want to go in. The longer students stay in, a, in the secondary school, the more they develop some thinking around what they might like to do or what sorts of things they want to be involved in when they leave school. So pathways are really important. And it's not all about what happens in the classroom. It has to be relevant to uh, the broader community. So what does the school look like in terms of you know, what, what is Seton High School in terms of its size and so forth? Um, we're now over 1,000 students this year because we've got year, first time this year, we've got year sevens. And that's, that's a significant increase for us. Um, but again, I'm going to extract some key words from this, some key terms, because I want to highlight the fact that even though a thousand is a lot of students, we want to make sure that the students still feel like and are, are supported in a way as individuals. So they're not just one student in a thousand, they are an individual that has particular interests, needs, in terms of support, uh, and in terms of what they want to get out of school. So individuals, we talk about their interests and, and needs and we make sure that their student groups, whether it's a year level group or a house group in senior school, have really strong and, and present leaders who have a, a focus on making sure that they are addressing the needs of students as individuals but also as a group. And then what we find is even though we're a larger school, we still hopefully uh, succeed, and I think we do, in making sure that the students, as I say, don't feel like one of a thousand, they feel like they're an, a, an individual within a group of, a larger group of individuals. One of our key focus areas is uh, summarised in this slide, but it can be summarised even more by saying that what we want from our students is we want them to do their absolute best, whatever that looks like, and it will look different for a um, students, not every student is going to be straight A's, but we want students to aim high. Uh, we expect them to, but we also support them in that, uh, to make sure that we give them the support that they need uh, to work as well as they can and to achieve as highly as they possibly can. Because what we want ultimately is for students to develop these sorts of characteristics. Independent learners, taking charge of their own learning, critical and creative thinkers, act with care and respect, with positive values, and they, as I said, aim high. Uh, and that's very much the focus of what we are trying to do with all of our students, regardless of what year level and regardless of their individual characteristics. Um, we are one of three 
in Adelaide's entrepreneurial specialist schools, and that influences uh, influences a lot about what we do and how we structure our learning, whether it's in specific programs or in the way that we talk about all of our learning. And I'm going to share with you a, a short couple of minute video which summarises uh, quite well in that time what that actually looks like for us as a school and for some of the students that have been through some of these programs. When the opportunity to become an entrepreneur or a specialist school came up, we looked at what that would involve and the opportunities associated with that, and it really resonated with the sorts of directions that we'd already started to embark on as a school. It is far more than just creating businesses for us at Seton High School. It's a way of thinking and doing. I have always loved the idea of bringing authentic learning into the classroom, and through entrepreneurial learning, I've been able to do that. I enrolled in a specialist program to try new things and to challenge myself to push my boundaries. I have an interest in the field of business, so I was hoping I could collaborate with professionals and find out what I actually want to do in the field of business. I thought it would be a new opportunity to explore something that I was curious about but not quite sure about for a future career path. What it means to me is focusing our work on developing a student's way of thinking and a way of approaching education and, and a way of improving their capabilities. It means that we can create opportunities for our students that they haven't necessarily been able to engage in before. It means uh, the implementation of innovative practices and ways of thinking that allow students to develop the uh, capabilities and enthusiasm necessary to unlock a world of potential and opportunity. I believe an entrepreneurial mindset is important, especially in today's the day and age where everything is fast and ever-changing, that being able to adapt is one of the most employable skills one can have. It helps us learn and explore new things, but not only that, it also helps us put it in action. It helps you to spot and solve problems related to your learning, as well as just in life and the environment around you in general. I think for our immediate community, it's a great opportunity for them to see what we are doing within our school and that we are changing the way that we are delivering our curriculum to our students. We have over 200 students engaging in our entrepreneurial space packages that work with 30 different industry collaborators. Through this experience, students have the opportunity to work with the community and industry experts and entrepreneurs locally and globally. I think I'll use this study in the future because the future is so uncertain that the entrepreneurial skills that I have learnt um, help me give me confidence that through any hurdle I can get through it. This program has helped me develop skills and experiment with processes that I would not have otherwise have access to. I think that engaging with entrepreneurial learning has really helped me to develop a lot of like soft skills like resilience confidence and communication and being able to develop this outside of school and professional setting was also really beneficial with developing these skills. We are in the process of rolling out a total of nine senior entrepreneurial packages which cater to a range of future pathways for our students. The pathways will become such that no matter what destination or whatever pathway a student leaves the school with, the learning that they've undertaken at the school in an entrepreneurial sense will be of a huge benefit in whatever that pathway happens to be. Okay, so hopefully that um, summarised a bit of the, the, the approach that I was talking about in terms of developing students' ways of thinking. The focus there is on the senior end of the school, but certainly when you hear Paul talk around the structure of the curriculum in years 7, 8 and 9, it's very much around the developing of capabilities as well as uh, you know, the traditional knowledge that all students need to have in terms of being successful. And that leads very well into that sort of learning. And what that actually looks like, that sort of learning that students will have the opportunity to experience once they reach year 10, is a full range of those packages that were mentioned uh, in that video. And what that looks like is on a Wednesday like today, um, every year 10, most year 11s and some year 12s, 
spend a whole day working in one of those areas. Um, so they choose that in terms of what their passion and interests are. Uh, and you know, you can see there's quite a wide range uh, of experiences there, and we're adding to that all all the time. So we started off with a few, and we've as they've become more developed and more successful, we've expanded those. So great opportunities, uh, and all our students will have those opportunities as they move through the school, but also the learning that they do in the earlier years is very much around uh, developing the entrepreneurial capability summarised in that diagram, which is our focus of all of our learning from year seven all the way through to year 12. It's around learning by doing things, making things happen and finding opportunities. So all of this happens uh, within the normal curriculum that would happen in any school. So students still do the Australian curriculum and they still do the SACE. Um, and not all students um, want to do entrepreneurial um, packages. They might have a very particular pathway that they have in mind and we certainly support them in that space as well. It might be, for example, they want to be a, an engineer so they have to do a very specific range of subjects at Year 12 uh, to be successful in that space. So we are very much supportive of that. So as I said before, the innovation is not for innovation's sake, it's around meeting the needs of students and getting good results. Oh, already done that one. Um, one of the features of those programs, summed up by this slide, it's about bringing experts and community groups into the school to work alongside the teachers and the students. So that's a, that's a representation of all the different groups that come into the school to work within those programs. Uh, if you've had a chance to have a, uh, a look or a smell at the food tonight, it does smell pretty good when you walk past. Um, forage Supply Company is a group that come in and do a lot of work with our Food Futures program, which is one of those programs. Uh, and they are a group that has uh, strong social aims in terms of what they're doing. But you can see a lot of other organisations there as well, and that's a feature of bringing the learning from the community into uh, the school. Um, Paul will talk about this, but the way that the middle school is curriculum is structured is also, well, it's not the full day programs, it's around central themes, like um, health and happiness, for example, incorporates health and physical education and aspects of geography. Um, so all of the normal curriculum is packaged in that space. Uh, and as I said, Paul will refer, Paul will refer to that a bit more. And there's information over in the north building on the ground floor. If you've already been there, you might have already seen it. If not, have a look around all of the, those packages, for example. So, um, oh, before I do this one, a really specific, important point around entry point into the school. We have specialist programs where students come into the school from now on in year seven, and they can go into one of those three entrepreneurial programs or they can go into the Diamond Sports program, baseball and softball, or uh, they can specialise in languages when they come here. And that's a way for students to have a really particular interest in one of those areas uh, that they can uh, be involved in their specialisation right from the word go. It's not everything they do, they still do all their normal subjects, but it gives them a chance to have that focus. It's also an opportunity for students who aren't in our zone to get accepted into the school but being accepted into one of those programs guarantees enrolment in the school, even if you're not in the zone. And we are a zone school with, with ceilings. Again, if you're interested in any of those, can I suggest you have a look um, and then talk to people over in the North Building. There's lots of information about those ways of entry into the school. And in fact, some of you might have already been through that process because that's already happened for next year. Okay. Um, not all about what we do in the classroom with students, opportunities outside of that. Student leadership is a real focus and there's a range of opportunities in that space. Uh, a variety of different clubs in the arts, robotics, uh, sport opportunities in our uh, diamond sports, baseball and softball, but not only that, in a range of sports in knockout uh, and carnival competitions. And also increasingly we're doing a, a lot of work in uh, volunteer work in the community because we think that's a good thing to do for a range of reasons, provide value to the community, but it's also good for the development of the sorts of values and, and ways of thinking that we're, we're talking about as a school. And all of that 
culminates as the students work through uh, those programs in their time at the school and eventually find themselves at the end of their schooling, which happens, it seems like a long way off when they start, but comes around very quickly. Um, and what we find is through the way that we structure our learning, the supports that we have in place, um, that we get really good results, whereas we don't, our students get really good results in year 12. Lots of them, if they choose to go to, uni to university, not all do, but, but quite a few do, um, they get high preference offers, offers to university, but also lots of them are going to vocational pathways or even into direct employment. But what we find is really important and we take a lot of pride in is that last statement there, but just about every student that leaves this school, whenever they do and under whatever circumstances, they go into a positive pathway, university, trade, work, uh, further education, whatever that might look like. And that's uh, what we think is, is really, really important as a school. So, that's a bit of a snapshot around the, the big picture of the school. Lots of specific, uh, specific information around all of those things available in the North Building downstairs. Diamond Sports Centre, which is the building down here. If that interests you, I suggest you have a look at that. It's a really impressive facility. And down the other end of the school, in the arts area, you'll find lots of displays around the visual and the performing arts that would be worth having a look at, particularly if you have an interest in that, but even if you don't, it's, it's good to have a bit of a, a look around at what, what we offer. So, don't forget um, to have a listen to Paul, who's going to talk around a bit more specifics around what uh, middle school looks like, uh, but and between the two of us, hopefully that'll give you a good picture uh, about what we are on about and what we offer as a school. So, thanks very much for coming along this evening, uh, and we look forward to those of you who join us in the future becoming part of our community. Thank you.